What's up, ladies and gentlemen? My name is Comical Mischief, Mr. 5150. <laughs> now, I want to talk about something, man. I'm going to just bring it right out the gate. I want to talk about blacks and whites, man. <laughs> you know, because ever since the 17 year old by the name of Trayvon Martin was shot you know murdered in Florida not everybody but the overwhelming majority of these people that cling on to anything that deal with a black man and a white man or woman they jump on it but the thing is that Trayvon Martin wasn't killed by a white man but a lot of black people want to make it a race thing, and I don't understand that. Now, as y'all can see, I'm I'm black, but that don't mean shit. I'm a fucking man. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? And when everybody was getting together and they were saying, you know, that shit was wrong, which it was wrong. It is wrong, and it's sad that people got to rally to get people in positions of power to recognize that shit. Man, I man, I'm gonna just let y'all know, man. That this this shit right here is gonna be long. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? It's motherfucking 4:47 in the morning. You know what I'm saying? And um. I will prove it to y'all Cause I don't want motherfuckers to be thinking I'm bullshit <laughs> You know what I'm saying Let me find the clock on my phone But man Whenever they um Here it is right here. Um, See that shit right there huh. It's 4.48 in the morning I keep it 100 bro I make motherfucking videos any motherfucking time. If I fucking feel it, I'm going I'm to fucking make one. And as y'all can see, it's 62 motherfucking degrees. Well, not in the house, but in SAV, Georgia. <laughs> but anyway, man. You know, <clears throat> when... When people got to rally to get people in a position of power to see that something is wrong. You know, now, just a quick side note is... I'm not shocked that the people rallied. I'm not shocked by a whole bunch of shit. I'm not going to dig that hole. But anyway, um, when the NAACP got involved, I was like, all right, now let's see what they're going to do with it. But then this motherfucker came and opened his motherfucking mouth, man. Reverend Al Sharpton. You know, now a lot of black people going to hate me for what the fuck. That I'm about to say. <sighs> Reverend Al Sharpton is like a lap dog. Do a lot of barking, do a lot of yelping, don't but don't move shit. Now, y'all gonna get upset, man, but that's how the fuck that I feel. I'm not saying it's fact. Do your own fucking research. I wish people would just recognize shit for what it is. A man shot a unmotherfucking armed child. You know, first and foremost. That that that's the first thing. A man shot and killed a child that had nothing but a fucking soda and some goddamn Skittles. But no, let's take it a step further. A man shot a young black boy. Fuck that, man. It's a life loss and y'all motherfuckers are focusing in on motherfucking color. Motherfuck the color. Do you think that Trayvon Martin motherfucking parents focusing in on their fucking child was black? No, they motherfucking focusing in that their child was motherfucking murdered. 
And motherfuckers always want shit to be black and white, man. Take color out what the fuck you do, man. If shit is fucked up, the shit is motherfucking fucked up all the way around. I wouldn't give a fuck if it was purple, man. The shit was fucked up. The shit was wrong. And the fact that the police aren't doing nothing, you know, I'm not gonna lie, the shit pisses me off. But who the fuck am I? What 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 fucking power do I have? None. All I could do is talk about the shit, man. And you better believe, man, that shit got me fired the fuck up. Cause it could have been my fucking child. Walking in the fucking street that somebody approached and wanted to be a fucking police officer. But ain't no motherfucking police officer. A self-appointed motherfucking neighborhood watch captain. Self-appointed. Let, let, me, let me say that shit again. Self-appointed. That means that there was no... Governing body in place to vote this punk motherfucker in You know what I think I think that It's cool that people in Florida are rallying and shit But I'm gonna keep it a hundred Y'all should make this motherfucker feel so uncomfortable Not only in the area in the neighborhood where he stay at, but in the whole fucking state. Y'all should make it so fucking hot for him that he want to move. And the next place that he move, they should make it so hot for him until this motherfucker will feel like the safest place for him is in motherfucking prison where he deserves to fucking be. You know, th this... This motherfucker should not feel comfortable enough to go to the motherfucking grocery store. Now, I'm not saying that people should whoop his ass. I'm just saying people should make him feel uncomfortable as fuck. Because he killed a kid for no fucking reason, man. Yeah, we contacting the senators and writing letters, man. Motherfuck that shit. Do that shit, but let's do some other motherfucking shit too. Make this motherfucker feel uncomfortable. Post this motherfucking face all over. You know, them motherfuckers talking about Coney, Coney 2012 and shit, that overseas bullshit. Yo, you might get mad, but motherfuck that. Let's handle the shit that's going on right here. Let's handle this shit. <laughs> you understand what I'm saying? Let's, let's make this motherfucker infamous. Fuck making him famous. Let's make let's make this motherfucker infamous. So everywhere that he go, anywhere that he walk, everybody will recognize this motherfucker and make him feel uncomfortable than a motherfucker. That's that's what it's come down to these fucking days, man. Motherfuck all the goddamn rallies. This is wrong. This is wrong. Yeah. I feel the same fucking way, but this motherfucker is still walking around and shopping and shit, and he feeling comfortable enough to leave fucking voicemails. Man, fuck that shit. Fuck that shit. Make this motherfucker feel uncomfortable. Wherever he go. When this motherfucker go in the fucking grocery store, y'all not to touch him, y'all not to threaten him, just follow him. Just walk around the store with him. See, because it's a fine line that you got to walk now. See, because see, you can't stalk him. But but if you just so happen to be in Walmart, and he just so happen to be in Walmart, and you just so happen to go down every alley, he just so happen to go down, ain't a motherfucking thing a motherfucker could do. Got to use that noodle, baby. But make this motherfucker feel unfucking comfortable. Because... Trayvon Martin ain't here. He not coming back. He can't come back from what happened that night when that punk motherfucker fired that fucking gun, man. And put a bullet in that young man's chest. You know, man, that motherfuckers is on here talking. You know what? Man, motherfuck that, man. 
Why should there be a fucking hearing and and, and a fucking panel needs to be uh, 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 set up to look into the matter? Man, motherfuck, man, this shit is cutting motherfucking dry. A grown man shot a teenage child that had a fucking soft drinking Skittles. What fucking investigation do you need to motherfucking do? I'm I'm saying, man, what what the fuck, man? And then motherfuckers are just letting this shit happen. What what cop showed up on that scene and let that shit go, man? I don't get that shit. But you let that child have been the son of a senator, the son of a judge, the son of a lawyer. (laughs) Fuck that. The son of a police officer. That block captain would have been in handcuffs and taken away from that scene so motherfucking fast. You understand what I'm saying? Shit fucked up all all the way around, man. I don't give a fuck how you motherfucking. I don't I don't care what the fuck you say. He had on a hoodie and all that shit. Motherfuck that shit. The young man is gone from this world, bruh. And with that being said, the motherfucker that killed him, the motherfucker that murdered him, should not be allowed to walk the motherfucking earth and feel safe. That's all I'm fucking saying, man. Y'all take that shit how the fuck you want to take it. But I can't do nothing but just keep it 100 with you. I'm not going to say no if. Scenarios because if I say that shit, that shit'll come off as a smooth threat. And um I'm not gonna set myself up for failure. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So that's all I'm saying. The bitch ass dude, the shoddy man should not be walking this motherfucking earth and feel comfortable to do so, bruh. What I think happened since in the police report said that the person that shot him the back of his shirt was wet and 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 he had a bloody lip or a bloody nose or whatever the fuck he had leads me to believe when the block captain was following him and he ultimately approached Trayvon Martin, a scuffle ensued. Trayvon Martin put them hands on his ass and bopped his ass up. Little bitch ass block captain pulls out the pistol like a little bitch and shoots him. Bitch ass shit. Now, Trayvon Martin isn't here because he did what you or I would have done If somebody approaches you in a confrontational manner, you will do what? Defend your motherfucking self. You're not going to just stand there and let a person grab you or push you the fuck around or some shit like that. Because I don't give a fuck where I am. If I'm in the grocery store, if I'm in Walmart, if a person approach me, and get in my personal space, all all my defensive senses are on. And if you touch me, it's gonna be a motherfucking problem. I don't I don't give a fuck who the fuck that you are. If you approach me with that bullshit for no fucking reason, we gonna have a misunderstanding. And I believe that that's what happened with this. Young man, he was defending himself. Now, 
I believe in using deadly force in certain scenarios where deadly force is being used or or going to be used against you. Okay? But there's no need to defend yourself with deadly force if the person you're defending yourself against got a motherfucking soft drink and some motherfucking Skittles. That's all the way wrong. And just off of that alone, the block captain should have went to jail. Off off the rip, when they searched that young man's body and found no fucking weapon, he should have been put in cuffs right then and there. There is no way you can justify that shooting. There's no way you can justify that murdering, that 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 killing of an innocent young man for just walking motherfucking home to finish watching the goddamn game with his goddamn father. That shit pisses me the fuck off, man. That that shit pisses me the fuck off. And it seems like the more I talk about it, the madder I fucking get because that could happen to anybody child any anybody that has a a a child of age that can walk to a uh, store and purchase a damn soda and some skittles should be mad as a motherfucker cuz that could have been your child just saying man but um that's what the fuck I had on my chest, man, and it's fucked up, bro. You know, so I'm going to try just to sit there. Just think about this right here for a minute. Trayvon Martin will never walk this earth again. All right? Because he's dead. He he's he's gone. And the motherfucker that murdered him for for no apparent reason other than what I think is that he got his ass whooped for for fucking with the young man is around here chilling out, leaving e excuse me, leaving voicemails on people's phones and shit, feeling comfortable than a motherfucker. <sighs> Y'all should make him feel uncomfortable as a motherfucker, man. But anyway, man, that's my time. Thank y'all for stopping by, man. I'm Mr. 5150, um, Comcast, Comical Mischief, you know, Sacagawea and all and all those other names, man. Thank y'all for checking out my channel, man. Now, y'all have already watched it. Now, like it, subscribe, and then share this video. Share my channel with all of your many family and friends on any and every social network that you're a part of. I appreciate it, y'all. Deuces.